Hello, and welcome to another Joyful Gym with Audrey Joy. There are exactly two verses in Acts 12 about a gal named Rhoda. Before we talk about her, though, let's set the stage for what's happening in the early church and the lives of the Jesus followers at the moment Rhoda is mentioned. Stephen has been stoned, a church leader. Murderous Saul has converted and is now a Jesus follower. James, the brother of John, one of the sons of thunder, has been put to death by a sword. And Herod has just arrested Peter. We learn in verse 5 that Peter was in prison, and while he was there, prayer was being fervently offered up for him by the church in Jerusalem. But Herod had Peter locked down tight. He was in chains, he was flanked side by side uh, with guards as he slept at night. There were two more guards outside watching the door. Nothing, though, is impossible with God. Peter is awakened in the middle of the night by an angel. The chains just fall off. The angel tells him, get your shoes on, get your coat, we're out of here. And they just walk out of the prison. The doors just miraculously open. And when Peter gets outside, the angel leaves. He becomes aware that it's real. It's not a dream. And so he then makes a beeline to the ho a house, the mother of uh, John Mark. Remember him? We talked about him in the Barnabas stories. And verse 12 says, There were many people gathered at the, their house, and they were all praying. And then Peter knocks at the door. Enter Rhoda. She was a servant of the house. And she comes to the door to see who's knocking. And she gets so excited to see Peter standing there that she closes the door and leaves him standing outside. I can just imagine Peter's reaction Maybe a little eye roll, possibly a sigh. He might have even said out loud, Really? <laughs> After everything I've been through, really? You're just going to leave me out here? But he continued to knock until someone else came to the door. This cracks me up every time I read it. I think, though, that the most important part of this, aside from the miraculous power of God in getting Peter out of prison, but, but the most important part of this is the reaction of the people who were praying. They didn't believe Rhoda when she told them that Peter was outside. And here they were, they're praying for Peter, very likely praying for his release, but their reaction showed possibly how little they believed that their prayers would make any difference. So how much faith do you pray with? I know for me, I often feel like the man who said to Jesus, I believe, help my unbelief. But nothing grows your faith like seeing the impossible become possible. And I suspect that's one of the reasons God did this. He wanted to grow the faith of the followers in Jerusalem. They were being heavily persecuted. It was a difficult time. Some of their leaders had been killed. Others had been arrested. And you know what? They just, they needed a win. And God gives them a real faith boost in the miraculous release of Peter. And he gives us a chuckle over Rhoda. If you found value in this gem, share it with a friend and follow me on my Facebook page. This is for me. If you're not already a Joyful Gem subscriber, well, you can change that. Just log into my website, thisisforme.com, or hey, shoot me an email, audreyjoy at thisisforme.com. Be joyful.